Heathrow has over 5,000 direct employees. We understand the threats and risks that the staff are facing. Terrorism, espionage and foreign state-sponsored attacks. It's a seven days a week, 24-hour day operation. Nine out of ten breaches are done through social engineering and we have to keep one step ahead, but I feel like we're one step up behind, to tell you the truth. We're at the Compass Centre, which is the headquarters for Heathrow Airport. The airport is just across the road over there. Um, there's a lot going on at Heathrow. Heathrow is a critical national infrastructure. The country depends on its operation on a day-to-day -day level. One of the things that we do try and do is make sure that we understand the threats and risks that the staff are facing. Terrorism, espionage and foreign state-sponsored attacks. So Heathrow is trying to look after its safety of the staff that we have, as well as the public. Heathrow has over 5,000 direct employees and indirect employees, people that work with us, there's over double that. It's my role to make sure that they're all informed of both things that we want people to watch out for, but also immediate messages. You'll have people who don't use a computer day in, day out. You'll have people who come in at all hours of the day. It's a seven days a week, 24 hour a day operation. And we need to make sure that we can get to those people and, uh, and understand both uh, the messages that we're giving them, but also that they don't cause issues to us as a business. Social engineering is when a hacker wants to access information from an organisation, either to steal it or to create some sort of sabotage. So one of the things that a, an attacker would do is to look at your um, emotions and try and make you either do something that you wouldn't do on a normal basis. So a lot of these things that we see are emails that we have in our inbox, usually about a, an offer that you can't refuse. Come and buy this product, it's reduced by 50%. So that's using your emotional intelligence to try and make you do something that you wouldn't do on a normal day. Types of social engineering that we have at Heathrow have mainly been around scattergun emails across the whole estate. Um, so we call that phishing. And that is where an individual um, hasn't been targeted, but they've been asked to put in their username and password, um, also clicking on links that will take them off to strange websites. What we've done as a result of that is done quite a lot of phishing campaigns to both mimic those phishing campaigns, but equally to give awareness to our staff that these things are happening. Even if you miss it, even if you don't act on it, they're there. Nine out of 10 breaches are done through social engineering. One of the things we want to do here at Heathrow is protect our staff who are the frontline individuals who will be um, managing social engineering on our behalf. So one of the things we really want to do is ensure that their safety is tackled through education and awareness and that they're aware of all the social engineering types that are out there. So on an annual basis, we run a training campaign. We have training courses which we've turned slightly on its head in the fact that we ask the questions first, and if you answer all the questions correctly, then you don't need to do the training. You've proven yourself. However, if you don't answer all the questions sufficiently, uh, then you go through some set training material. Uh, and that means, potentially, you can complete your uh, annual awareness training in less than 10 minutes. Uh, which is superb. Over the last couple of years, what we've done is we've used uh, live actors to actually sort of give a real good impact on what could happen, because you kind of can then bring it to the context of the airport. We aim, by the end of this year, to have over 95% of all those people uh, through that training to provide that we have a level of awareness, both in cybersecurity and data privacy. We have to keep one step ahead, but I feel like we're one step up behind, to tell you the truth. You know, people are using multi-factor authentication in their home life. A lot of companies are behind when it comes to multi-factor authentication. So we're, we're trying to keep up with what's happening in the technology. People are wanting more technology as they go forward, and we need to make sure that we're on the back of it and not miss out on something. I mean, one of the things is um, WhatsApp is a great example. Everyone uses WhatsApp, and we want to make sure that's secure. What do we use in the organisation that's equally as good and secure? So it's always keeping on top of 
what's out there in the, in the world when it comes to what individuals want for technology. To shorten the amount of time that it takes from us to see something to informing the rest of the business is paramount.